I am blown away that in 2021, we've got to be having this conversation. I'm going to get him, and then we're going to talk about how a woman in TJ Maxx asked me one of the most, I think, harassing and inappropriate questions you can ask someone about their child. Let's, let's do this. So the other day I'm at TJ Maxx because I needed to go purchase some stuff, obviously. And I'm literally like standing in line. I have him in the stroller and I get up to this register and there's a woman, um, elderly woman. She's I, she easily, easier in her 60s. I don't know if that's elderly, but she was easily in her 60s. Um, and she says to me, oh, what a beautiful child. I said, thank you, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Um, Cause, well, he is, and he often gets those compliments a lot. Yes, you do. Um, and she, so she says, what a beautiful child. And then she, she looks at him again and looks at me. And sometimes people, I can tell, they look at me and they're like, this doesn't make sense. And I don't always think it's because of race. I think sometimes it's more like I look very young. Um, I think I might look younger in person and especially with a mask on as of late, uh, I think I look younger, way younger. So people kind of just, and then the race thing, and I think people are just kind of like, what is going on here? But anyway, so she then, she looks at him and she looks at me and she says to me, where's the mom? And I was like, I literally looked back at her and I was like, no. And she looks at me with this, and she kind of like cocks her head and she's like, where's mom? Where's the mom? And I said, no. And she goes, no mother. And I was like, the mom is not around. And literally like finished paying and just walked out of there. So here's the thing. I would like to think that TJ Maxx as a company is probably educating their employees on what is appropriate conversation at the checkout line and what is not appropriate conversation at the checkout line. This is 2021. In Los Angeles, California, of all places, there's probably some black guy who walking down the street or coming into a store with a little baby who is not black and they are parent and child. That is probably a thing that's happening. In fact, it is a thing that happens. So as a company, TJ Maxx, you might wanna do a better job of educating and demanding that your employees do not go and ask customers these questions. Because I will tell you what, if he was old enough to understand that question and understand what that woman was asking, there would have been a whole different scenario that played out in that store. The only reason I did not ask for a manager, Karen, or tell her that this is really none of your business and why are you asking me this question is because he does not understand that question right now. But there will be a time in his life where he does understand that question and he will, you know, if there's it, be asked that question if he's not with biological parents. And if it's he's with me and you know he understands that question and someone asks it, I'm telling you it's going to be a major issue. So as a company, TJ Maxx, you need to do a better job at not only educating your employees at time of hire, but continually educating them along their employment with you to ensure that they are not asking harassing or questions that just really aren't uh, that don't matter to them. What does that question have to do anything with me buying something from the store? Even if he was a little black baby and he was with me, you still don't need to ask that question. Like there's so many scenarios where the mother's not there. 
maybe we got whatever. I don't even want to go down the list. It's none of your business. Do what you're there to do. That is work and represent the company TJ Maxx, not ask stupid questions like that. So here's a few reasons why this bothers me, because I'm sure some people will be like, this isn't a big deal. Why does it even bother you? Because it is a big deal. Because Everything that people in the foster care industry, whether it's a foster parent or in a foster agency or the social services workers, all we want to do is ensure that these children have the most normal life possible. So if Sally and Sally's daughter, Jessica, go into TJ Maxx, I can guarantee you with probably 99% accuracy that the woman at TJ Maxx is not going to say, oh, what a beautiful baby, and then say, where's dad? No, they're not going to do that. So it is inappropriate for you to not, for you to ask anyone that question, no matter what they look like, who they're with, anything like that. It is inappropriate for you to ask that question because that impedes on myself doing my job of making sure that he has the most normal life possible. If you're asking that question, and yes, I'm a 34 year old grown ass man, I can handle, I can handle the question, but I will also be, um, I will also be vulnerable and let you know that as much as I can handle that question, it bothers me. I had to call my friend after and tell her, about this because this is this is no joke to me. This is a journey that if able will be a lifelong journey for myself and him. So when you question my right to be with him or question where the mother is or question how I'm with this child or what I'm doing with this child or anything, anything at all, yeah, it triggers me. Yeah, it bothers me, because I don't want that question. I don't need your input. Just check my stuff, let me pay, and let me get out of here. As you can see, it really irked me and bothered me. So I would say this, if you are ever in a situation where something looks, you know, whether it's a beautiful little baby and, you know, I'm not an idiot, I know why they're asking that question, it's because he's white and I'm black, and you wanna know, like, you're questioning, like, oh, does this person have, a white girlfriend or a white wife or something like that? Like, why doesn't it go through your head that maybe, like the first thing that would go through my head, and I'm a foster parent, the first thing that would go through my head is maybe they adopted the child. First off, I wouldn't even be thinking this because it's just stupid. But if I had to be thinking it, maybe I would think maybe they adopted the child or maybe they are with a woman and the darker traits just didn't come out in the child. Like. Why does it matter to ask that? I'm rambling. If you're ever in a situation where something seems odd, don't ask the question if you're not uh, privy to that information because you don't know what's going on. There are people in my life that know what's going on here, but they know what they can ask, what they can't ask and how to ask it. Now I will say this, there have been far more people, and I was worried about this at first. What are people gonna think with this black guy, you know, pushing a stroller with a little white baby in it? I was worried. There have been, for every 10 people, there have been nine people to say things like, what a beautiful baby, or wow, he's gorgeous, how old is he? Or enjoy your new baby, or wow, Aren't you tired? Beautiful things, loving things, supportive things. And I'm grateful to live in Los Angeles and do this where those fears that I have, those that are ingrained in me because of the time I grew up and where I grew up, where I ne didn't feel safe for who I was or the things I did. I'm grateful to live in Los Angeles where I, where I can experience nine times out of 10 more love and support for the relationship I have with him. I, I thought I was going to get lots of questions of why is he white and how do you have him? People have not asked me those questions. Like they've literally just affirmed through loving, beautiful, 
conversation and little comments. But there's that one person at TJ Maxx who asked me, where's the mom? Like that doesn't make sense to me. I get that you're a little bit older, I guess, and maybe you're stuck in your ways of that there's this, you know, father and mother situation all the time. But if you're gonna work in retail in Sherman Oaks, California, on Ventura Boulevard, if you are gonna take on a job in that location, just that in itself, let alone retail, understand that your where you come from, the time in, in, in society that you've lived, you gotta put all that aside and just know that you can't ask those certain questions. That it's not appropriate, it's not right. Because you don't know what someone's situation is. That's all I had to say. TJ Maxx, educate your employees. Because apparently you're not doing enough of it. At the end of the day, we're grateful, aren't we? We are. All right, this was a different type of video. Yes, I know. But it also needs to be said. That's part of this channel, is to educate people on all of the sides of foster care, foster to adopt, I've talked about re reunification, I've talked about adoption, I've talked about the process of getting approved, and I've had many people affirm me for that and thank me for that. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there today. All right, I would love to hear your comments in the chats, in the chat, in the comments below. Like, what do you guys think? Do you, am I being too sensitive? Am I, you know, right hitting strikes here? Am, am I right? Am I not? Like, again, like I didn't say anything to this woman. I just left, but it definitely impacted me and friends said that I should talk about this because it, it is it is important. So I'd love to know what you guys think. All right, thanks for watching these videos. Oh my gosh, I'm watching um, the analytics on YouTube and YouTube is recommending my videos on their home pages and up next videos. So just thank you everyone for watching and liking. Hit the like button, please. It helps so much. Um, and commenting and all that good stuff. All right, that's about it today. Bye. <laughs> Bye.